Hi guys, it's me, Andrea. I will show you a tag today and that's for the Facebook group Tag It Tuesday. And um, the theme this month is simply splatter. So this is a leftover from a cleanup page. I have a really beautiful structure on, or texture on there, so that's why I use it. I have a bit of a maritime theme in the background because I cleaned a stem or a stencil where uh, I had fish bones on, so they are in the background. I will bring them out with a bit of um, uh, thingy later. Um, wax yeah you will see so this is my my crib paint pretty diluted with water and because i want to put some alcohol splatters on top so that's my my part of a splatter so um this is vaseline and i want to do um what do you call it i haven't got a clue you put vaseline on paint all on top and when the paint is dry, you can remove the parts where the Vaseline is under. So um, that gives always a nice weathered distress effect. The first time I put it on with my fingers, and you can see that it looks pretty, yeah, round, circularly. So I didn't like that really. And that's why I remove here everything pretty good. And then I use a wet baby wipe actually to get rid of the um, rest of the Vaseline because you make sure that it's it's removed that you are not um, covering it for the next layer so this time I use a brush for the Vaseline and it's much better you have um, a more an organic stroke like thing when you remove um, the paint you can see it here but what I did it was too thin and I left the paint to dry far too long so it gave me a hard time or it gave me a hard time to remove that so I didn't do this uh, technique for a long time, so I had to get used to it again. You know, you have to find the right thickness to put the Vaseline down and, and how long you, you have the paint to dry and where to put it. So um, when you want to do that, it's beautiful, but you really have to, to check out first how it works. So try it first on a... On a, on a scrap paper so okay that is another layer and it's a copper I really like this combination of turquoises and my my uh, violet red violet and I only put it on very thin I didn't want to have that much of that but as you can see I lost pretty much of my turquoise so that's why I do a last layer Again with Vaseline first, Vaseline first and uh, a brush and then I go over with turquoise again. To, uh, but light, very light, not very thick. It takes a longer time to dry, you know, so. And um, yeah, cover everything, very thin layer, let it dry. And uh, when I came back to it, to remove it, you can see there's not a lot and everything underneath peaks through not only peek through you have quite a lot of uh, the paint showing and that's what I wanted and so I think it's perfect now really like the result and uh, go on this is uh, all over the page stem from obsession impression and that's wood planks and I stamp it down here and there not over the whole tack only partially a few areas where it's lighter of course it shows up much better. You can see it here. I really like this stem. It makes a beautiful texture, visible texture though. Okay, so, and as you can see, that looks already very maritime. Okay, I etch here with my big pen, big brush, pit pen, big brush, my god. And that's what I said before, I get this um, texture, or what was already on there, this fish bone stencil I cleaned on it and I, it left me with a bit of a um, texture and that's what I try to get out here with my Inca Gold wax. Okay, this is, um, yeah, some, I think it's bark, I can't really remember, I bought it a long, long time, I think so. And I always think that's so beautiful. It fits so perfectly with the maritime theme. Now that's why I really like to use it. 
I glue that down with um, glue later and I use this this um, clay stuff I made with this mold it's a very light clay it dries um, air, air dried or you can put it in the microwave it's a very light one it's this female light or soft can't remember and um, it's absolutely light so you're not having a lot of weight on that tag and yeah here fuzzing around I um, wasn't sure how to position it and so that's why first glue everything down my structures here the bark whatever it is and uh, that I, I use uh, tacky glue from from Eileen and I didn't want to have it completely attached it should be a bit loose here and there I think that makes um, a big difference you know when you have something yeah you can when, when it's loose on something so uh, okay what I use here for my um, my, for my clays um, is uh, water yeah media <laughs> watercolors and the problem is it makes a nice effect because the surface is porous 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 and porous it's, you know what I mean and it, it um, makes a nice effect of the yeah, but the thing is it soaks it up and it gets wet and it loses it um, um, texture you know and that's um, what I wouldn't um, recommend to do I would never do that again I would use um, let's say acrylic paints or so okay I did it now and I, I finished it off with my water watercolors that's okay but that's what you learn so next time I know I won't treat them with watercolor or I will put a, a, a coat of medium on top to um, se secure them that's what you can do here I'm fuzzing around I wasn't sure about on top they were fine and um, but the, on the bottom I wasn't sure about the position so first of all I use some gesso here to put it over this bark stuff because it blended into the background it didn't really stand out so okay as I said I was sure about the top ones and uh, glued them down already but uh, on the bottom that ones I wasn't I was feeling about I didn't like it and oh gosh yeah no no I don't like it so I took more, I got my other ones and had a look how to or what to use I think this big shell was I don't know was uh, in combination with the other ones a bit a bit much so but in here I go and use only my Tombow watercolor pencils or markers and with my water tank brush I blend everything out a bit of orange here and there treat it in the same way and that one as well okay so and I still haven't glued it down I think nope I haven't, I'm still fuzzing <laughs> Isn't it awful, you know, when you want to position stuff? And uh, but it's it's great when you have the camera on top, you know, you will see it through the display, and that um, or when you step away, even it's always nice to see it from a distance. Okay, I put the eyelid in, and now I decided that I don't want to have the big shell. It was it was too big, and I wanted to have them uh, closer together. That this cluster that looks so much nicer okay happy now I have everything down and this is a stamp set from darkroom door quite like a beautiful stamp set use it a lot really it was worth what worth buying it now I use only the words here at the beach and by the sea I like the way it's written you know that's what you expect on this weathered wood signs you know and uh, that's why I use this weathered wood um, distress uh, thingy here from Tim Holtz that's a perfect color I think I dry it and then I go back with it to get a bit of depth in only dab it on that I get different shades 
and uh, yeah, dry it again. And that's perfect. So now cut it down. And to distress the edges, I use my scissors here. You don't need a special tool for that. It's perfect with, with the scissors. You can do that. And I use the vintage photo here to go around the edges. And because of the distressed edges, they soak that up quite good. So I'm trying to find out where to place it. Okay, found the place. This time I found it too quickly. Could make a quick decision. <laughs> So that's a bit under this shells on top, and uh, this one goes um, far, a bit farther down. But I wanted to have some splatters first, so that's why I use my black acrylic ink. Some splatters because that's the theme of the tag this month, and my alcohol splatters weren't visible anymore. So I put some black ink splatters on top here and glue it down and that's it so the close-up is coming now and that's it i hope you like it i really had a lot of fun i like to do projects like that this distress look i really like to work like that so guys thanks a lot for watching um if you like it please give me a thumbs up and leave a comment even and I really, really appreciate it. And I say bye. Thanks again. And bye-bye. Have a fantastic time. Bye-bye.